Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rules. I have a video here that I'm going to show my five favorite tech champs in the game for end game content. Keep in mind, I don't believe in tier lists or a best, so I have some basic rules for this list. I'm only ranking tech champs that I have and that I understand that I use a lot. I can't rank someone I don't have. Champs who I consider to be best for most late end game content, meaning versatility, utility, and rankings are personal preferences. Depends. I don't believe there is an all overall best always it depends on what content what i'm doing so this is a generic list of five that can fluctuate starting with number five on my tech is going to be spider-man stark and hand so just barely made out the cutoff for my top five once upon a time ago not too long ago was probably my favorite tech however he has fallen down i just don't find he has enough utility for a lot of the late game content however there is still what he does he does well once you get those charges up, you're going to see some massive damage going on. He also has that little bit of power steal ability when he does that heavy. He can also evade, has a better chance of evading some of those different special attacks, which can be helpful at times as well. Of course, on the negative, his utility is a little bit low. And, of course, he can't take much of a punch. Somewhat of a glass cannon, but he does some massive damage as we're seeing just a little bit of highlights and some of what he can do. So he is still a champ I like very much. He's actually who I used on my very first LOL completion run very long ago, actually, it feels like at this point in time. Still somebody I use at times. I like his play style. I like the aggressive ability out after you get the charges going on. Not always the big fan of having to play that passive, get the charges out. So those are some of the reasons why I ranked him number five. Great offensive. Cannon does some great stuff, but has some limitations to include on a lot of lack of utility for later content, which is why he only made number five on my top five. Number four, Hulkbuster. I was arguing back and forth with myself at one point i had him number two on my list he and i put him all the way back to number four even though oh, this was a very tough one you see what he does you see what i'm doing right there some crazy stuff he does insane damage per straight damage perspective with the ideal combinations he's probably between my number two could even argue him as my number one favorite tech sometimes however i put him as my number four overall mainly because he relies so heavily on that parry heavy requirement so i had to take points off that his utility isn't super great either however when they rely if you can't stun the opponent if there's different nodes where the stun goes down if when those limitations there it really hurts his value so he does have some massive things so i wanted to put a little better utility who doesn't have such a straight hiccup requirement on a lot of content you see you see a lot of nodes in later game content where there are limitations on being able to stun on the debuffs that kind of stuff um, i do like he does have pretty good power control and power lock when done correctly see the stun the big thing is you lock him in the corner and you launch those heavies and you will see just the damage melt just melt them apart again ranking him number four was a tough call for me i really was ranking him higher initially but i really thought about it in a perspective how much do i really use him in some of the content and a lot of times i just can't use him on my team number three guarding another one i juggled him between my two three and four a bit also had him fighting, but I put him just a tiny sliver above Hulkbuster, mainly because he has some better end game utility. His also his synergy that gives block proficiency a thousand to the other team members can be really good. It makes champions like Cole or even Starkey also on this list a little bit more av available for some of that to be able to block or parry if need be but additionally i do like the fact that he is able to have that can block and blockables got good utility uh, he has a little bit of power drain can get extra armor ups if needed but the big thing is is being able to get some massive damage as we're going to see there i have a tutorial on garden how to use them how to get this damage if interested i also actually most of the champs in this video i've done tutorials on including the stark enhance i've done a tutorial including the hulk buster i've done a tutorial and guarding i've done a tutorial so if you are interested i'm not getting into how to play them right here i'm just giving a little bit of highlights of some play i took out of some regular play i was doing while doing some exploration on some content to kind of show why i like them i'm not getting into all their utility everything they can do i'm showing some of the good stuff showing some of the massive 
unique stuff they can do. So as far as reason why he didn't even make it a little bit higher on the list is he does his power drain isn't very good and some of the other utility including the immunities isn't is going to limit him in some content so i had to put him number three and warlock another one like i said really my two three four i was juggling them and depending on the content i'm going to leave some of them out and take some of them over others at times some my big issue with warlock the reason i had a hard time putting him number two but eventually decided to put him as my number two but his damage his attack is kind of back and forth based on fights sometimes and it depends on nodes it depends on a lot of different issues but some fights it feels like they take a very long time with him but a lot of times he can do very good damage as we are seeing some pretty respectable damage here but his utility is insane definitely one of the top utility champs in the game it's hard to argue other than that uh he's got immunities is a big reason i have him as my number two he's immune to so many things which is essential in later content he can also have really good power control when used correctly he has some decent regeneration those infections can be key on a lot of different items and of course the ability with those infections to stop healing and regeneration again extremely important items and those different bits of utility encompassed with some pretty dang strong attack ability right there is really what put him as number two and gave him the edge over the ones that i really struggled with um ranking as far as hulkbuster as well as guardian had to give that a lot of thought so we're seeing a little bit more on warlock is doing right here a little bit of gameplay and a lot of different fights Again, you're going to see some fluctuations on his attack, but it's also going to be based on nodes. The ones where you're seeing the most attack is usually going to be on nodes where he has some kind of advantage, to include in some of the Cavalier EQ to where he's able to get higher Furies. But if you're not able to get a lot of Furies going on, such as in content where he won't have such an advantage, he, the fights are going to be a little bit longer. Again, one of the, my biggest if not only complaints on warlock but then again his utility so much overrides that and a lot of times it's better to have a fight take a little bit longer than it is to be able to last through the fight where some of the other champs on this list might not be able to make it through the fight based on limitations their immunities or power control they might have Going on to number one, which people probably would have guessed is I honestly almost didn't rank her number one, not because I don't think she's the best, just because I think that she relies so much on synergy, and I couldn't help but keep thinking that. I know people are going to hate me for saying that, but and I know she doesn't need synergy, but honestly, how many of us like playing her without synergy? I hate playing her without synergy, and maybe it's just me. So despite that, that was my biggest hiccup on her, was I just don't like playing her without synergy. I also believe she benefits a lot from suicides because of getting those fears and other bits up. And I don't always, I flip back and forth between suicides. I don't like playing her that much without suicides masteries either. But despite that, and those were things I was really looking at, I almost didn't put her as number one, but you know what, ghost is ghost. So we're seeing some gameplay here. We're going to see just a little bit of some regular stuff right there going on. And I have her both as an R5 5 star. I also got her as an R2 6 star. Most likely will probably be an R3 for me in the near future as I'm getting close to getting a T5C tech. And has so much ability, able to change those debuffs into theories, which is, makes her really good. Again, she would have been an easy number one for me if I didn't just dislike playing her without the synergy so much but despite that we see the damage she's able to do we've seen the utility she's able to do between the missing the phasing being able to have specials go right through her see some insane damage right there especially when you do get those furies up can get those furies up those heavies out of this list of five ghost is the only one i don't have a tutorial on again don't have a tutorial on her just because there's so many out there it's so easy to see ghost videos out there another reason you don't see her on my channel too much because i don't like overdoing something that's already overdone but i couldn't deny her her place of deserving number one in who i consider 
the best and are my favorites to use for content completion and exploration lists out of the text right here. Many people are going to quickly notice I do not have guillotine 99 on this list. That is because, as my disclaimer is at the beginning, I don't have her. I can't put someone on my list I do not have. Um, some honorable mentions to Sentinel and Punisher 99. I was really looking at almost putting on this list but barely missed out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already done so. Thanks so much for watching. MCOC All Bundy Rules.